Hey Trinity, it's Pastor TJ here. I'm a week now into my paternity leave and I just wanted to thank you for your patience during this, um, during this time. Uh, I want to remind you that I am available to you for pastoral care still. So if you have those needs, you can email me, you can call me. Um, and we also still have the Tuesday night Bible study that's at 6.30 p.m. that's meeting on the porch. And so if you want to join us for that Bible study, please just contact the office so that we make sure that we don't have more than 25 people. Bring your own chair, bring a mask, a Bible. And again, we're studying the book Why by Adam and Hamilton. And I am of the belief that you don't have to have the book to be able to participate in this Bible study. Um, but if you do, all the better. Um, and so that's Why by Adam Hamilton. And it would be great if you could join us Tuesday nights at 630, whether that be online or whether it be in person, because we'll continue to both offer that both ways. But if you are going to be in person, please RSVP just so that we know that we don't have more than 25 people. Uh, I also wanted to just sort of introduce this coming Sunday's worship to you and show you how we're connected um, closer with so many churches in our conference. Connectionalism is a piece of United Methodism. We should be working with all United Methodist churches from around the globe. And so these churches that we'll be going to in the next several weeks are all churches that are in our conference, but possibly in different districts. And so for this week, we are worshiping with the Clark Summit United Methodist Church and their pastor, Reverend Andy Widener. Pastor Andy was my mentor while I was serving in my previous appointment at Factoryville and Dalton United Methodist Churches. And he was also my supervisor for my supervised ministry while I was in seminary. Uh, I have received countless wonderful pieces of wisdom and nuggets from Pastor Andy in our time together, and I am eternally grateful for that. And so what a great place for us to come back to to, to find someone to worship with this week. Uh, Pastor Andy and his congregation also need your prayers as Pastor Andy is coming to his retirement um, at the end of June. Um, they're actually moving as early um, as the first weeks in June as he's retiring and isn't moving into another church. Um, and so I ask that you pray for the Clark Summit United Methodist Church and for um, the Widener family as they go through that transition of retirement. And just congratulations, Andy. What, what, a, what a milestone um, and what a career you've had. So thank you for that and your dedication to churches and to Christ. Uh, so this Sunday, as you come to worship um, online, uh, you can still come to our Facebook page to be able to view that video. But if you are watching that on YouTube, instead of searching my name or for the church's or Trinity's church's name, um, in the search bar, you're going to want to type um, Clark Summit United Methodist Church um, to be able to find that uh, there. And I've sent an email out about that previously that has a direct link if you're looking for that and that's easier for you. But I did just want to sort of frame that and allow us to see that. Um, I thank you again for your patience, and I thank you again for this, uh, the ability to take my paternity leave. Um, it, it has been a blessing to be able to be there and with both of my children um, and to have that time with them, and so I thank you so very much. And so as we prepare for that worship, I bring us to a scripture from First Chronicles. This is how, let us enter worship in this way on Sunday morning. Worship the Lord in a holy array, and tremble before him all the earth, ye the world stands firm, never to be moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar, and all that fills it, let the field exalt, and everything that is in it. Then shall the trees of the wood sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. God is good, and he will see us through this, and let us praise God together, not just as the Trinity United Methodist Church, but as churches throughout all of this world. Amen.